Welcome back. A school in Texas is under fire once again for allegedly suspending a black student because of his hairstyle. Now, Daryl George's mother uh, says he's been punished for more than two weeks because of his style of hair, almost like a dreadlocks. Uh, you'll see the look what I'm talking about. So the Barber's Hill School claims his hair violates their dress code. It comes after the Crown Act, though, went into effect in Texas, which bans discrimination on hairstyles uh, or texture of hair associated with race and color. Now, the school says George violated the dress code because his hair extended below his eyebrows. Listen to this. They never seen his hair let down because, as you can see from pictures, from uh, all the pictures, his hair is always up. So they just basically picking with my child. Well, it turns out the same school was in the spotlight in 2020 for banning a student from graduation over his hair and helping starting the movement that led to the passing of this Crown Act. Yeah, and, and I really am so happy that we were able to do this story because the Crown Act was something that was very necessary to pass. It has been passed in New York State. It passed back in uh, 2019, four years mm -hmm. ago. The Crown Act um, had to had to pass, and that was mostly because of this pattern of harassment that a lot of young people in school, women, in the workplace have had to face due to their choice for the style of hair, you know, hair that embraces their natural styles, protective styles, as we have called them. As you guys have seen, the metamorphosis of my hair, um, and I've been wearing it natural more often. Um, it's not an easy hairstyle. It takes a lot to, to make it, you know, look like this, um, but it was important to me. Yeah. It was important to me to do this just to be an example for so many people. And I just love how this wonderful company that we work for has embraced it, too. Yeah, well, I've gotten a lot of love for it. If so. we're going to raise children to be individuals, we yeah. cannot squash their individuality. We can't tell them that you must conform into this box. Yeah. It just it, it's it's I don't think we're doing right by our children. Right. And, Absolutely. And that, that's you. I mean, that's why we love you. Truly. I mean, that's the thing. And I, I hopefully. I want my little girls to embrace yeah. their hair. I want so many little ones out there to, to see this as an example of, oh, I guess I can be, you know, a professional and, and wear my natural hair. No, that's know? great. It's that's part great. of a really big discussion and totally weigh in. Um, reach out to us on social media if you feel strongly about it. So. Maybe the, the hair can be blowing in one of these taxis in the air. Well, and but but I do. But, but um, before but before we move on, I do oh. want to say so there is that crown law is in effect that rules in effect for New York. I for don't New know York if State. it is for New Jersey yeah. and Connecticut, but and we just need to be aware that it's something. And I guess quickly absolutely. we should mention what what it does. I mean, it protects people, yes, right? It protects people from discrimination oh. and for opportunities um, for them missing opportunities because of their yeah. hair. So so I was.